guys, welcome back to my channel, Lizette Crafts and Tells. I'm Lizette, and today, guys, I have the video for you with all my finishes and my current whips. Um, I've been diamond painting for one year now. Um, last week, I showed you my current diamond painting stash, and today, I'm going to show you the diamond painting that I've finished in my first year and I'm going to show you my current whips. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get started. So this is the one that got it all started. La confiture. <laughs> this, guys, is the first one that I got from Huacan, from AliExpress. Yes, I started like we all did. You just see an ad coming by in your timeline on Facebook and you think, oh, let's give it a try. And I picked this one because it's like a vintage um, ad poster from France. And we own a B&B &B in France and we cook for our guests. So I thought this would be a fun thing to do and maybe hang in our kitchen or something like that. Uh, it's a square. So I started with a square 50 by 50 with 48 colors. It was confetti hell <laughs> because the background is all different shades of turquoise. One of my favorite colors. Um, Okay, if you see it through the lens, it actually looks quite, quite good. You can see Artisanal de Provence in the bottom and you can see La Confiture over there. But you can't see this. There's a text in here. You can make out Abricot, but you can make out this there and there. Um, also guys, this one uh, when I did this one, I was like, okay, I'm going to do diamond paintings with a, a kitchen theme. So I saw all kind of cute diamond paintings, uh, more cartoonish with um, chefs on it, the, uh, who were cooking in the kitchen. And I was like, oh, I'm go going to do a whole series. I was actually feeling quite smug about it, to be totally honest. I was like, oh, I haven't seen this on YouTube and it's going to be a theme. And, well, it's going to be something different. <laughs> and then, thankfully, I woke up one night and I was like, hmm, why haven't I seen these kinds of diamond paintings on YouTube? There must be a reason for that. And all of a sudden I was like, oh, copyright. And, well, I have said it before. <laughs> Um, I started searching and I found Tiny Worlds of Wonder, Jessica. She has an incredible video about legally licensing and um, uh, copyright. I'll put a link to her video in the description below, guys, so you can go and check it out. Okay, and what she also says is how you can search if a certain image is actually legally licensed or stolen or not. So I looked up this particular one because I already had this one. And, <laughs> okay, the artist that this is from is called Bruno Pozzo. I wrote him an email and I said, okay, I bought this diamond painting on AliExpress. Um, I'm sorry, I, I know it's it's not uh, copyright free. I just learned about this, but I would really love to do this diamond painting and show it on my channel and also use it as a way to tell my followers, I didn't have any followers then, but okay, um, to, to make them aware that this is a problem. And he replied to me, he said, yeah, go ahead, no problem. Just mention that this artwork is from me. So that's what I did. So this actually is one of the most important diamond paintings that I have. 
because of that reason, after this one, I have never bought um, from AliExpress again. Um, I only have legally licensed or copyright free diamond paintings in my stash. Actually, uh, I only buy from premium companies right now. That's a choice that I made. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just explaining my uh, diamond painting journey. Um, so I'm really pleased with this one. Actually guys, after a year, no popping drills, <laughs> really not. Um, the overall feel is, is okay. I'm just, the rendering wise, it's, it's not the best. And uh, well, it was just a rite of passage. <laughs> I learned a lot. This was the diamond painting that I learned a lot from. And uh, well, that's worth something. And I actually like this part best. This part, like the top, and then with the little bow here, I think that was done really quick, pretty. But after this one, no more. <laughs> no, and of course, guys, please know that also on AliExpress, there are a lot of diamond paintings that are within the public domain or that are copyright free. You just need to do some research and well, I'm too lazy for that. I just want to be completely sure that it is legally licensed or copyright free. And that's why I choose to buy only from certain companies. But that's my choice. You do you. And maybe if you don't have any uh, issues with, with copyright, if you don't care about that, well, that's, that's all up to you. I'm not the diamond painting police. I think you can make your own decisions, of course. I'm just telling you what I do. So, la confiture, Bruno Pozzo, who I can. Okay, on to the next one. So, of course, after my scare from uh, <laughs> who I can, and uh, the copyright issues, I found Diamond Art Club and um, I ordered two diamond paintings, this one and another one that I'll show you in a minute. But this is a card Fairy Dust from Sherry Baldy and well, the reason I chose this one was because of all the colors. I was like, wow, that one looks like fun and it was. And I did this one, uh, it's a round, it's 55 colors, 84 by 51 centimeters. So this was my second diamond painting that I did and it already was a diamond art club, so wow! And I single placed, I think the entire painting or maybe at the end I started using the multiplayer for the first time just to try it out. But in the beginning, I just was too scared. Uh, I did this one from Winter with DAC. That was an event of Rachel Ray and uh, Wolfpack. Uh, and I just wanted to join an event. And why did I choose this one? Um, because, well, here's the fairy and we could all use a little bit of fairy dust because guys, it was an it was a lockdown Christmas, so it wasn't a normal Christmas. So I thought we could all use a little bit of that. And um, that's why it stood out a bit because everyone was doing the, the normal Christmas themes. So this one was really different. And that's why I liked that as well, because I always want to do something a little bit different. Loved working on this one. And it's got me hooked on Diamond Art Club because guys, wow. And well, okay, I didn't store my uh, finished diamond paintings uh, in the best possible way, but it looks great after a year. Okay, on to the next one. It isn't one, actually, it's four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll put them. I'll show them. <laughs> it's like <laughs> a collage, a Christmas collage. And they are all really, really small, 30 by 30. 
I'll show them one by one. I bought them on Amazon uh, at the same time that I bought La Confiture. So before I knew about all the copyright things. Look how cute. This one and then another snowman. This one. I love this one best. And then last but not least, Santa! And this one I made into an advent calendar because I just wanted to try that as well. Didn't work out exactly uh, as I wanted because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, and now look guys, after a year, look, this one has actually lost some drill, so the glue isn't that great. I did reverse image search on this one. I actually thought that I had found the uh, company that licenses these kinds of images and I sent them an email and they said, no, that's not in our collection. That's embarrassing, guys. <laughs> so I couldn't find the original artist, so I just, well, I had them and I did them. I don't know, guys, if these are legally licensed or copyright free or anything but i love doing them they were just a beginner thing and i love them for christmas not the best quality as you may have seen but they are all these are this one has this one has 19 colors this one 20 and 20 and this one only has 12. All rounds, really fun, but well, um, I usually do bigger projects, but it's fun to start with. Nice snack size. On to the next one. My second Diamond Art Club that I did, Autumn Walk from Olga Darchuk. This one, guys, is where I learned to multiplace. It's all line blocking and um, a lot of verticals, but I also turned the diamond painting like this and worked on it like this. I'm really happy with the end result. The colors are so much fun in this one and I just love the lady. And I did the entire lady as a diamond painting bonbon. That was really fun to do. In case you don't know what a diamond painting bonbon is, that's the part of the diamond painting that I save for last as a reward for doing the entire painting and I make time lapses of those. I'll put a link over there so you can watch the time lapses, but for this one it was the dress. Really fun, 48 colors, two uh, special AB drills, the blue in the in the dress and just a little bit of sparkle from the rays of sunlight. Really enjoyed working on this one. It's a great one. Okay, the next one. Mermaid story from Star Ore. So this was my first from another diamond painting company uh, that I found through Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder because she told on her channel that Star Ore, Star Ore had a special segment for legally licensed art. Star Ore also has other diamond paintings um, but this is the section that does legally licensed paintings and I just love this one because she's a mermaid, she's a pretty lady and I love the hair. I really loved working on this one. It took me quite long to finish. Well, I don't know why actually, but I just did. <laughs> it's a 50 by 76 and it has 28 colors, two ABs. And she's really pretty. I really love the rendering on this one. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay, 
it doesn't fit into frame, it doesn't even fit on my table. Um, <laughs> maybe I can zoom you out a bit. I'll try. Oh, like this. Do you see it? Do you see it hanging over the table over there? Okay, this is Jock Pinson, the Golden Valley. 93 by 70 from Diamond Art Club and it was my first landscape. Um, it has been my last landscape. <laughs> I have one other landscape in my stash that's also a Chuck Pinson but it's from Dreamers Designs. It's not like after this one I was like I'm never going to do um, a landscape again. No, I loved working on this one. It's super confetti heavy um, but I I don't know, I think I actually prefer working on, well, as you have seen in my stash, pretty ladies and mermaids. Um, I love the Golden Valley, I love the feel about this. Also, I hadn't seen this one a lot on YouTube yet. Um, as I said before, I like to do things a little bit different. Um, and also, this reminds me, the waterfall over here reminds me of uh, Lord of the Rings. When they go in those canoes in the, well, I don't know what the street is called. I'll, I'll put it in here, <laughs> the name of that. I really like these and of course the boat. The details in this one are really great and I absolutely get why people love working on Chuck Pinson's, not only are they beautiful but also when you work on it you don't see the details and then when you step back you see the diamond painting coming to life and that's really fun and well when you see the finished project wow and also with this one it was a challenge <laughs> one of many but um i did this one uh the chuck chuck along for chuck along three in March and September, Maritza from Kiss My Crafts and Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment, they do a chuck along. And I joined for March and I wanted to do this in one month. And I wanted to see if I could do it. So I made a whole setup how I could tackle this large canvas in a month. And I did it! Yay! But guys, <laughs> it was a struggle and I spent a lot of time diamond painting. So, would I recommend trying to do this in a month? Um, no. <laughs> just take your time. It's not a race. It's just enjoy working on it. So, that was a lesson, an important lesson learned while I did this painting. It has 53 colors and it has two ABs. Well, and it's beautiful. Okay, on to the next one. Also a Diamond Art Club, also really special to me. Oh, and even looking at her now, oh guys, she's so pretty. This is pink galore. Uh, it has 20 colors and well, more than half of it is pink. Uh, a lot of color blocking, which really isn't my thing. I'm a confetti girl and I liked working on this, the rose color that she has. Oh, that was so much fun. But guys, this will always be one of the most special diamond paintings that I own. Because I did this one for the 24 hours diamond painting challenge. I worked on this one for 24 hours straight. <laughs> and guys, that's exhausting. I was so tired. But um, I did it together with Tammy, my partner in crime. Um, we both tried to do as much as we could and it was for the fundraiser and guys we managed to raise $1,543 that we donated to the art therapy project in New York um, for pe where people get art therapy who really need it. So I'm so proud that we did this and this is such a fun project. Of course I didn't finish it in 24 hours. 
<laughs> and up front I thought, well, oh, I can do that. No way. But I finished it quite quickly after that. And well, I just, I love it. The only part that I still really don't like that much is the nose. But that's the only thing. I really like this braid over here as well. And she was so much fun to work on. And it's a round, guys. 20 colors and two ABs. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this was a little... Oh, I'll bring you up closer. This was a little side project. Mm, not my best choice. Uh, Craft is um, legally licenses civil uh, art. And I love civil art. She's with uh, DIY Moonshop as well. Um, this is a small one. It's a 40 by 40. It has 25 colors and 4 ABs. So that's a lot of ABs. The color scheme is fun. Um, but the rendering, guys, it's just too small. And that was another important lesson that I learned. Because I always say, bigger is better. Uh, but sometimes you want to do a little snack size in between your larger projects. But if you do, guys, and I made this mistake, be sure to just go for uh, paintings that don't have too much detail. This one, even though it looks great through the camera, when you see it up close, you really don't see the flowers here. And of course, you need to look at it from a distance. But guys, this is supposed to be a bird. It really isn't. Look, okay, even with a lot of fantasy, I wouldn't think that's a bird. <laughs> but another lesson learned, and I did the hat as my diamond painting bonbon, and that was a lot of fun. And I made uh, an Instagram reel <laughs> of it, and that was fun as well. So, lesson learned, um, when you do small projects, and guys, that's a beginner mistake of mine. Don't be fooled by the image. Choose small diamond paintings, not too much detail. Use that as a basic rule and you'll be fine. <laughs> On to the next one. There she is. And I can put her like this because she's framed. Look. This one I sealed and framed. This is my Josephine Wall project from Diamond Painting Deutschland. 220 colors. Josephine Wall, joie de vivre. Well, guys, <laughs> this was such a great project. I love doing this. Um, this is just all confetti, especially the wing. And, uh, well, the dress. I'm doing, I'm going to do in comparison, I will show you my whip in a bit from another Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. 220 colors. Wow. I worked a couple of months on this. I made an entire playlist of it, uh, of that project. I'll put a link over there so you can go and check it out. Of course, this is one of my favorites. So this one is from Diamond Painting Deutschland. It's a square, 220 colors. And it's 90 by 67 centimeters. She's beautiful. <laughs> I can just leave it at this. At it. She's beautiful. Okay, and the next one, guys. The woman in gold. Oh my god, she's big. <laughs> It's a 67 by 91 and this is my favorite finish because of all the sparkle. Guys, this is absolutely a great finished diamond painting but to work on, oh, for me, well in the beginning it was fun and then after a while it just, oh, I... <laughs> This was the hardest diamond painting for me to actually do, but I like... Oh guys, look at this shimmer. And all these special drills. 
Wow. And it's from Diamond Dots. And well, the, the drills were perfect. The canvas was perfect to work on. And they call it a partial because you don't drill the face and this part. But guys, to call this a partial, it's pushing it. <laughs> I think, oh my god, this, this was so much work. I love the end result, but working on it, oof, it was kind of a struggle. Okay guys, on to the last one. This is the last one that I finished quite recently. It's Jeweled Mermaid from Ching Chu Kuk from Heaven and Earth Designs. It's a square drill and well guys, Heaven and Earth Designs is a cross stitch uh, company that also does uh, diamond paintings and they are called Crown Jewels and you can order them either in poured glue or double sided adhesive. This was poured glue. And you can uh, pick colored or black and white, and I picked colored. So the, the way it came to me, it actually looked like a normal diamond painting. The only thing is that you need to order the drill separately. That's a bit <laughs> of a thing, but um, I really like the end result. I didn't like this part, uh, the light background, because I always think there's a bit of gapping, but her hair turned out great. It's a mermaid and, well, as I have told you already before, I love mermaids. Um, I love the face. It's fun. I have another Ching Chu Kuk in my stash. Uh, and what I also love about um, Crown Jewel canvases, the cloth. The, this really feels like a, like a painting kind of sturdier material. Um, this is my favorite kind of material to work on. I love the softness of the Diamond Art Club ones, but this I actually prefer personally. Uh, what I also love is that you have a legend on this side, which is written in this direction. And then when you turn it, you have another legend on the other side, which is Look, the painting is upside down, but it's like this again. I really love that. That's really handy. Um, it's 90 colors, guys. <laughs> 90 colors. And it really isn't that big. Um, okay, of course, I don't know the measurements off the top of my head, but I'll put it in screen. So this was my latest finish for my first year of diamond painting. So did you count with me? I have finished 11 diamond paintings in my first year of diamond painting. And I did some really big projects, at least I think so. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased. And also I couldn't diamond paint for about, for about a month this summer due to an injury on my shoulder. So overall, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, did I think I would finish more diamond paintings in a year? Absolutely! <laughs> As you can see in my current stash. Okay guys, so these were all the finishes. Now I'll show you my current whips. Normally guys, I all, only want to have two whips. Uh, but now it's a bit different, so I actually have a couple of them to show you. Okay, my first whip is Sagittarius from Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. It's a 70 by 88 centimeters square. Oh, I need to fix that. It has 61 colors. And the reason why I'm working on this one, look, I have this, this left, so I'm pretty close to finishing it. It's an absolute Fantastic to work on, so much easier than the Josephine Wall from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Um, but I wanted to do this one because I want to compare her dress to the dress of Joie de Vivre and show you which one I prefer and what the difference is because this dress and the dress in Joie de Vivre look most alike. So that's the reason why I chose this one. And guys, it's almost finished, so when this one is finished, I'll have 
the post review and then after that the comparison video. My second whip is from Mary's Diamonds. It's an Alina Lazariva and it's Sweet Dreams. It's 48 colors. And guys, I started this one only a little bit in the bottom, can you see? Uh, when I had that shoulder injury in um, July and I wanted to work a little bit on a diamond painting and this one looked like fun. And look, I did a little cherry like that and well, I haven't worked on it since. I think it will be a fun diamond painting to work on. I'm really pleased with the quality of the canvas. And guys, if you've been around my channel, you know that I uh, don't have an affiliate ship with any company. I don't uh, uh, unbox diamond paintings that are being given to me. The only one that I accepted was Mary's Diamonds. So this is one that I, they gave to me to show on my channel and I did. The only reason is because I wanted to order from Mary Diamonds before. But it didn't ship to France and they stated that they were going to ship to Europe and to France and I said well okay I would like to try out this one I could choose it myself it was one of the new releases so they sent it to me and well I wanted to show it to you and tell you okay you can order it now from France and well uh, there are still some hiccups I don't know I have sent them a couple of messages on Instagram since and they still weren't ready maybe by now they have but I haven't checked on it so this is a whip but she's going to have to wait I'll just put her to the side for a bit it's around it has 48 colors and it has one two three five ABs Then I have, I have three more to show you and this is the first one. This is Hamsa White Elephant and okay, technically it's, an, it's a whip because I still need to do that part, the lotus flower. That's going to be a diamond painting bonbon, bon. I just need to film the time lapse. But the rest is done and it, like I have shown in a whip time, uh, with the white background. I don't like white backgrounds so one part I single placed and some parts I multi placed and I'm, I show you the comparison. It was in uh, whip time. I'll put a link over here so you can go and check it out if you're interested. Um, this was the first that I started for diamond painting it forward because October is diamond painting it forward month on my channel. Uh, diamond painting it forward Diamond paintings are diamond paintings with a special meaning that hope to inspire, help, heal or empower. And this one is a 32 by 52 centimeter Hansa white elephant and it has 37 colors and one AB, only one AB, the orange that you see in here. The colors on this one, apart from the background, are fantastic but the post review will be up really soon so you'll see this one very soon on my channel love it this one however <laughs> you won't see in quite a while because it's big and it's confetti heavy it is the breast cancer awareness ri ribbon but it's from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. It's a full drill crystal canvas. Um, well, <laughs> and it's really confetti heavy. Look, you can see, see all that shimmer. Um, it has 24 colors round. It will be beautiful once it's finished. You can already see it, but this is going to take a while, guys. So I'm going to take my time and just do little parts of it. So this is going to be a whip for a long, long time to come. It's a 40 by 80 from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. Also started for Diamond Painting It Forward, October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, the last whip.
another really large one, the fairest of them all, Mandy Manzano Diamond Art Club. It's a discontinued kit. Sorry guys, you can't get her anymore. It was gifted to me by Diamond Painting Dog Dad and that was the reason that I chose to work on this for the Diamond Painting It Forward 2021. That was on October 15th and the reason why I chose to work on this one is because it has a really special meaning and the special meaning is the kindness of the diamond painting community because guys this one was as someone had put it uh, in the comments like my my unicorn this was the one that I really wanted and was no longer available and then one of my followers was so sweet to just say hey I have it I want you to have it and pay it forward to you to thank you for all that you do for the community <laughs> wow I was so uh, humbled by that kindness that I decided that this diamond painting has such a special meaning because of that kindness so I do this in honor of everyone in the diamond painting community and it's so much fun to work on because it's like coloring guys it's stained glass so you just do the outlining or at least I do and then you fill up the rest so I'm going to continue on this one. So this is my current active whip. <laughs> oh my God, guys, active whips and whips. Yes, active whip, this one. So I'm going to finish Hamza White Elephant and then I'm going to continue with this one. Right guys, we're at the end. <laughs> if you're still here, Okay, just like last week with my stash video, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I would really love to know. It can be a finished one, it can be a whip. And um, okay, and also, I would really love to know how many whips have you got going? Are you like me? I really prefer just having one or two. But uh, well, sometimes life happens and things change and you just go with the flow <laughs> right guys thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye guys <laughs>